hi guys welcome to chidres tech tutorials educational youtube channel if you scroll down you find web design and development tutorial section in web design and development tutorial section you find jquery tutorials playlist if you click on view full playlist you find all jquery video tutorials where i am explaining jquery in depth step by step guys in this video i would like to discuss jquery direct child selector in the previous video we understood jquery descendant selector in this video we understand jquery direct child selector as well as we understand the difference between descendant selector and direct child selector guys in the previous video we understood what are descendants of an html element html elements which appear anywhere inside of an html element are called descendants of that html element right html elements which appear anywhere inside of an html element are called descendants of that html element then what are direct children html elements which appear one level inside not anywhere inside one level inside of an html element are called direct children of that html element remember that html elements which appear one level inside of an html element are called direct children of that html element i told you jquery descendant selector is used to select html elements which appear anywhere inside of an html element whereas jquery direct child selector is used to select html elements which appear one level inside of an html element guys and the syntax we have discussed for jquery descendant selector to the jquery function if we pass space separated list of css selectors if we pass list of selectors separated by space then it is called as jquery descendant selector whereas jquery direct child selector to the jquery function if we pass list of css selectors separated by greater than symbol then it is called as jquery direct child selector guys okay and we understood what this code actually does it selects any html element targeted by the selector written after the space character it selects any html element targeted by the selector written after the space character which appears anywhere inside which appears anywhere inside space indicates anywhere inside okay which appears anywhere inside of any html element targeted by the selector written before the space character what happens in this case it selects any html element targeted by the selector written after the greater than symbol which is or are one level inside okay one level inside of any html element targeted by the selector written before the greater than symbol guys here we have seen the example right div space p where div is a tag selector p is a tag selector and space indicates anywhere inside what this code does it selects any p element which appears anywhere inside space indicates anywhere inside it selects any p element which appears anywhere inside any div element right that's what it indicates what this example indicates div greater than p here div is a tag selector p is a tag selector greater than indicates one level inside it selects any p element which appears one level inside of any div element guys it selects any p element which appears one level inside of any div element okay now let's have a demo and understand i right click on default.html page say open with the notepad you can see that default.html page is open in the notepad its title is set to jquery direct child selector demo and i have div in that we have a paragraph anchor header main footer and in the header we have h2 paragraph anchor in the main we have paragraph and anchor in the footer we have h2 paragraph and anchor in this example code paragraph anchor header main footer are direct children of this div why because they are one level inside guys okay html elements which appear one level inside of an html element are called direct children of that html element 
other are indirect children guys understanding so here let me minimize this and open the default.html page in the browser you can see that default.html page is open in the browser now if i come here i'll write the jquery code here i'll say dollar in brackets in double quotations i say do greater than p what i am telling select any paragraph which is one level inside of any do so in this do if you see this paragraph is one level inside it is the direct child whereas these paragraphs are two level inside they are indirect children's actually so only this paragraph is selected guys now i say here dot css i am applying the border comma 2px solid red if i save this go to browser and reload only the first paragraph is getting the border because this paragraph is one level inside of the div and it is direct child okay instead of writing greater than if i write space what it is called i am telling select any paragraph space indicates anywhere inside select any paragraph anywhere inside of div so here this paragraph this paragraph this paragraph this paragraph all these things are selected guys if i save go to browser and reload you can see all the paragraphs are getting the border so that is the descendant selector anywhere inside if i say greater than it indicates one level inside if i save it go to browser and reload the first paragraph gets the border because it is one level inside of the div guys so that is the difference between descendant selector and the direct child selector i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to try this yourself guys experiment you get more clear idea if you get any doubts feel free to put them in the comment section i'll be happy to clear guys if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about jquery in depth step by step for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial